Alright, so the last place we left off, we were trying to create a Fiora. Alright, well, let me make sure that there's nothing in here that's, you know, valuable. And get to creating. And now, we're gonna go down here. Ah, Fiora. It's gonna cost eight. So, let's see. That's the base course. I want to be intelligent. Intelligent helps the creature resist mental attacks, keeps from fleeing in combat. If you buy two levels of this, you can trip the creature in combat. Otherwise, it would act on its own. You might not like what it does. It's gonna cost 11 minutes. So, 8, 9, 10, 11. Creature strength, how much damage it does. You know what? More strength. Oh, that's pretty cool. Should I have it? endurance? How much do we have? Well, it resists poison and simple effects. I'm gonna go with um. I'm gonna go with endurance. Both of us are traveling together. Just uh, go over here. Fire, go over there. Yeah, this is this is fairly amazing, you know. Like, yeah, I kind of like how the story starts out, you know. You just, um, you're going to one destination, then you get attacked, then you go onto an abandoned island that you're not allowed to go, it's forbidden, and then you notice everyone's gone. Very good for an adventure story, you know? Still holds up to this day. Despite it being a 20 year old game. What else is going on around here? Let me check out the mini-map. What's down over here? Oh no, that's back where I came from. So, oh, I hope I'm going the right way. I mean, but knowing how things are going to go, I'm probably going to run into a, like a battle or like an enemy or something. It's like there's just so much dark spaces around here. Hmm. You find a sign that the evacuation of this island was not completely orderly. There is a body here. It is barely more than a skeleton. It's been here for a long time. Based on its garments, you think it was a shaper. The shapers were... I'm sorry. The shapers here made their supplies to last. It looks like some of the stuff on this corpse is still usable. Hmm. Robe, tunic, dagger, healing spores. I don't think I'll need the robe or the tunic, though. Let's see. No items to get by. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, I don't need any of that other stuff. I'm gonna go back up here. So, this just gets more and more interesting. I wanna know why this island was left abandoned. I should say gone. Soon you have to fight your first battles. There are several raid fireers ahead. The best tactics to defeat them depends on what sort of character you picked. Okay, so there's raid fireers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight. Um, I don't know if I should use my dagger or my javelin. You know what? Um, oh, holy hell, what am I doing? Pick up 12. Yep, I'm gonna just switch out and use my javelins. You should have at least one fire to help you with the canister, which gives you this ability to the rest. You can also use the firebolt spell, which is gained upon a canister in the previous section. Alright, well, I got both of them. Let's see how this turns out if I have to fight them. If you're playing as Guardian, you should have found and equipped one of the daggers in the previous sections. There is another hidden in this section. You may also make a fire to help you. 
Alright, so I got all of them. I got the javelins, I got the dagger, I got the fire ore. Ah. <sighs> no, we just want to have this game to turn out. Finally, if you have not yet saved the game, you should do so now. Hit escape to bring up the file menu and select save game. Okay, that's exactly what I'm going to do. If the game is telling me that I should save, then I'm going to fucking save. There is a Fiora standing on the path ahead. It's a very familiar sort of creation. Shapers have made them for centuries to serve as bodyguards, watchdogs, and even pets. You've been around hundreds of them. This one, however, is different from any Fiora you've ever seen. It doesn't have the usual expression of severity and obedience. It doesn't even look at you as a master, but... but... as food. You have heard tales of creations which have turned on their creators and gone rogue, but it almost never actually happens. If it ever did, the rogue creation would be instantly destroyed. This fire aura has definitely shed any shape of control. It bears its teeth at you, seemingly daring you to step forward. Oh, you dare me to step forward. Alright. This is combat system. I'm going to have to move closer because I'm out of range, so... I'm, I think I'm, pl yeah, I'm playing as the Fire Aura right now. So I have six left. Let's see if I can attack it. Fifteen damage. Alright, what do I want to do? Do I want to use a Firebolt spell, or do I... I think I want to use a spell. Oh, attack my Fire Aura. Alright, well, my Fire Aura can attack me. Gotcha! Okay, my heater is acting funny. I don't know why that always happens. Yeah, ne never mind me. That's just comparing. Um, around. All right, things are peaceful now. When you get wounded, you can heal yourself with the heal spell, which is learned in a large building at the beginning of the area. So heal one of your characters, press the heal button, and click on that character. Now, fire my fire aura only has like a small amount of damage, and then I haven't received any damage so far, but yeah, there's going to be more of these fire ores around, I know that. Ah, oh, another healing pod. That's good. It's in this one over here. Ah, two healing pods. I fucking love these healing pods. Uh, my fire ore, um, like I said, only has five, um, five, da five damage. Oh! Whenever I hear that, there's another enemy somewhere around here, so it's got to be... I can't really see... Oh, there it is! Alright, let's attack it. Uh, my Fourier is attacking first. Alright, now it's my turn. I'm going to use my javelin. Oh, it's stunned. Oh, no wonder, because it's fire resistant. Wait, no, it's missile misses. No, no wonder that's it's acting like that. So, right, so I'm going to... Got it. Alright. Peace mode activated and see what's going on over here. Let's see. Trash, trash, and more trash. See what's inside this building. Ah, there it is! Another one of these bloody things. Go there. Attack. I think I'm going to use my javelin. And Damn it! Like, what the fuck? I'm really going to fucking die. Alright, I, I, I've got to use a healing potion. Alright. I think... Is it that? It's probably because I can't use the javelins yet, so I'm just going to switch out with my sword. Uh, let's see, what else is there going on in this area? No trash. Ah, oh, shoes! I don't have any shoes on my feet, so I might as well get the shoes. Uh, what's in here? Oh, it's... 28 coins. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, um, let me find if I can find my shoes. Alright, got the shoes. 
Is there anything else I might need? I don't think so. Healing spores. I'll, I'll save the healing spores for later. No. Oh! I was about to save, and then I got... Another fucking... Hmm. Where's my fire aura? Get the fire aura in range. I got six points left. Direct hit. Alright, what should I do? right here because I'm about to fucking die. Maybe I should go back and like fucking get the um get that fucking healing potion or whatever. Whenever you get wounded I fucking missed the message. Oh my gosh. I've got to select both of them. Okay, that's both of us. Let's go back here. I might just fast forward this section like this part of the um, game right now. The fire or dies, you should find a good spell, dagger, guardian. I'm like going through like so all the messages right now. I just need to heal myself and um, get all of my stuff back. Well, my fire or didn't get healed at all. Alright, now we're both healed. Let's get back to there. Where's my characters at? Then again, I didn't even see it was over here, so that, that'd probably be better. Oh boy. I, like, totally forgot, like, all of the areas in this game, so... Just bear with me, man. So right now we're behind that building over there. There must be something around here. Otherwise it wouldn't be so... Hmm. Road comes to an end. Thick, unpassable trees. Ah, so I, I wasted all that time going to a fucking dead end. Ah, bloody me. So I'm gonna have to go around anyway. Ah, curiosity surely killed the game. <laughs> All right, back here. And let's see what's over here. Oh, look. No turn combat each round. Yeah, I already know the combat, so um, no use uh, reading all that. Oh, got five coins. Let's see what's going on on the ground. No items nearby. All right, that's good. Save it again. Make sure. Probably like a whole army of fire or something. Yup! I was fucking right. Now I'm out of range, so I can't really attack it, so I've got six left. Good. Just use. Oh, he missed. Oh, that's good. Okay. Save that again. You can't save during combat. That's probably what happened. I'm sorry if I'm saving too much. It's just that whenever I play an RPG game, I'm like always trying to save whenever I get the chance. Because you never know like, when you might run into an enemy. Okay. Run into another enemy. Where is it at? Where is it at? Ah, there it is up there. Fire is in range. I can attack it. Now, I'm I have 
I don't know why I'm keep missing. I need to really level up my character. <laughs> Alright, another one! Ah, two hits. Perfect, perfect, alright. Peace mode again. Let's see what's going on. Probably a bunch of them in there. No, in fact, let me just look at the outside first. Alright, there's nothing up there. Absolutely nothing up there. So I have no choice but to go inside now. Alright, let's see what's in here. Probably a bunch of more fire ores. Let's look up here first. Nothing bad. Oh, pitcher and mug. Okay. Of importance. What's in this? Boots! And a shield. Okay, that's that's definitely going to come in handy. All right, I got the shield. I won't be needing the sandals anymore, so I'm just dump those. Um, where are the boots? All right, the boots right here. It's all right, the boots, the sandals, the belt, the robe, the tunic. Just if I can level up any more armor, I get that would be nice. So what's in this one? Thorns. I know there's certain things you can craft with thorns, but I don't have the recipe for those. People wishing to pass through quarantine originally signed in here before waiting for inspection. None of the names are legible anymore, and the pages crumble at your touch. And this place was totally abandoned for a very long time. The pages are crumbling already. This was the quarantine waiting hall. People wishing to enter or leave Susha Island through this port waited here to be questioned and inspected by the servant mind. And sure enough, the mind is still here, resting to the north. You marvel at the skill of the shapers who made these remarkable creatures. Their careful construction and ability to hibernate gave them remarkable lifespans. It is alive. Hmm, that's really good. A servant mind is a very specialized and useful sort of creature. Once grown, it never moves again. It spends its entire life in a stone crib, made to fit it. Once there, it spends its entire life thinking, remembering, analyzing, and advising the shapers. As you approach, you can see the creature struggle to rouse itself. From its slumber, it seems that it is eager for your company after all these years it's been here. You carefully approach the servant mine, unsure of how its time alone in these ruins has affected its facilities. Fortunately, its eyes are clear and bright, and its body appears whole. It has the massive skull characteristics of these creations. Strange creations. Welcome, Shaper! I am Tavit, it says, reflexively reading from an internal script centuries old. Do you wish to pass through quarantine? Hmm, let's see. Let's see, let's see number three. What happened to this island and why was it bad? I am sorry, Shaper, I am limited in the scope of knowledge. When I was left here, I was given no further information or instructions. How long ago has it set? Has it been since someone came through you? You are the first since I was abandoned. Why was Susha Island abandoned? I do not know. I know little of its purpose, but nothing of why I was left here for so long. What was the purpose of this island? Research! Not the most useful answer you could have hoped for. I have other questions. I am eager to I am eager to assist you further, Shaper. Do you wish to pass through quarantine? What is it? Blah 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 blah. Okay, let's do number one. What do I have to do to pass through quarantine? Allow me to inspect you carefully. If I judge that you have no threatening infections or concealed rogue creations, I will unseal the door to the north so that you may pass. Hmm. Let me ask if it's alright. I am functioning properly, I can still do what I was made to do. If you don't mind waiting here for so long. 
I, I am functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. I was not made to have other thoughts. Let's see. Let's see, number two. Please allow me to pass the currency. The creature looks at you carefully, makes a low, soft humming noise. You don't feel anything, but you suspect some sort of magical augmentation is allowing the creature to analyze you in a minute detail. Eventually, the noise stops. Tabit says, I find no reason to impede your progress further. The exit door will open at your approach. Okay, um, I'm gonna do number three. That's all I need. Thank you, Shaper. I will rest and conserve my energy now. Okay. Well, I finally figure out. I think I opened up something. Let's see what's going on here. I know I say that quite often. Oh, orcs! Orcs! I love orcs. On this side of the quarantine wall, you can see another flock of orcs. This group, however, is not alone. It is watched over by a servile. Serviles are one of the greatest shaper creations. They are the most common and valued servants of your people. Intelligent, hardy, obedient, and featuring hands with opposable thumbs. They are also easily controlled. If there are serviles here, this isle must be nowhere near as savage and uncontrolled as you had feared. Serviles are weak and easily coward creatures. Um, if there are any real threats here, they would have likely been quickly wiped out. Your emergence from this hole is clearly the last thing this servile expected. He looks terrified at first, then curious. He leaves his flock behind to come and speak with you. He probably wants fresh orders. Okay. Ah! There he is. The servile moves very closely to you and expects you carefully. It seems to be the same design of creation in which you're completely familiar. Same hunched posture, number of limbs, and so on. It looks very surprised to see you. However, it doesn't have the attitude to immediate obedience as you have come to expect. It seems more curious than anything. After a few awkward seconds of staring, it speaks. I don't think I'm mad. It's a shaper. A shaper has gone. At, uh, a shaper has come at last. Oh, it has been years, years since anyone has come through that door. A shaper has come. This is so wonderful. Oh, but where are my manners? I am Timo. I am a shepherd. I graze my orcs here because nobody comes here. Oh, I must go to Vak Vakiri. I must tell the people here that a shaper has come at last. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do num option number three. There are no sh other shapers here. Timo looks even more nervous now. I... I do not... No. You are the only one. You are the shaper. You have returned. And we... We can serve. He seems somewhat recited about saying that last word. Though you may not be a shaper but a guardian or an angel, all these sects are generally referred to by the outside world as shapers. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Alright, I would do number two. I do not require your total obedience. I only need to leave this island. Tima looks incredibly relieved. Of course, we servals will be glad to help you in any way we can. It is our way, and we thank you, Mighty Shaper, for your kindness. Let's see, I'll ask other questions. Tell me about the theory. It is our humble village. He points east. It is that way, not far. Not, not far. I should tell them a shaper has come at last. It is humble and small, but with no shapers around. We did what we could. Hmm, let's see, let's see number three. I want to know why this island was abandoned. I have no idea. You should talk, you should go to Vakiri. There are, there are many there wiser than me. I should go there now. They should know there is a shaper among us. I'm gonna do with number one. I've been stranded on this island. How do I get off? He looks worried. He has no idea. Oh, I, I, I am a humble villager. I do not know how to leave. But in Vakiri, there are old and wise people. They can help you. That is odd. Timo is referring to his fellow serviles as people. Creations are called creations, not people. All right. Um. Go back to option number one. Go back to option number two. Ah! 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 Yeah, I'm just gonna bother the orcs. 
like I said, you know, they're not bothering me, so I won't. Let's see what's going on. Alright, um. Basically completed this section of the map. Uh, there's no other places to explore. Uh, let's just look around. I seriously doubt there's anything back behind there. Unless it's another road, which probably is, but either way, I'm not going to um, do all that, so. What's this right? Oh, the Kiri. Let's travel there. Hmm. You meet, for the first time, a colony of serviles on Susha Island. There is a good deal of astonishment on both sides. The creatures have... The creatures seem to have done well on their own, much better than you have expected. They have moved into the shape of ruins and made their own. They have crops, shops, and guard patrols. The serviles, in turn, are speechless. They have clearly been without shape of influence for many years, and they have no idea how to react. They look overjoyed, relieved, and terrified at the same time. Some of, most of all, though, they look expectant. They watch you carefully, gauging at your very, at your every move, wondering how you are going to treat them. The power of the Shapers has always completely overwhelmed that of their creations. You, however, don't have the full power of the Shapers. You are weak, tired, untrained, and alone. Fortunately, they don't seem to know that. Hmm. What's the sign say? Welcome to Vakir. First time we Shaper, oh, no, it's a servile, right? yeah, I think that's one of the guards. That's another shape. Um, servile. I don't know why I keep saying shapers. I'm the fucking shaper, not the ser not the uh, servile. Oh, was a purple one? Probably a leader or something. I don't know. There's they, they just keep walking around. I'll just speak to that one. Ah, there's the guards. Here. You meet one of the Vakiri guards. He is a servile, wielding, wielding an ode dented but very sharp sword. The guard bows. He seems slightly nervous about your intentions. Greetings, Shaper. How may I how may I assist you? Hmm. Where can I find aid and information? You should speak with the leader, Kobar. He is in the feasting halls at the southwest corner of town. What do you got? Rogue, create, rogue creatures are common in the woods north and east of here. We never know when some of them will stumble into Vakiri and need to be dealt with. I don't need any more assistance. The guard bows once again and continues his rounds. This servile is working hard to grow small green vegetables. She seems to be doing very well considering her lack of supervision. She bows. Welcome to my humble plot of land, Shaper. Uh, let's see. Raising, simple vegetables. They aren't a creation, just ordinary food. You look close and see if she's correct. Let's talk to Leonard Pinner. She points this northwest. She lives in the building back there in the woods. Never mind, you can return to your work. Thank you, Shaper. You are very kind. I just want to explore more of this town. Once again, I apologize for saving so much. It's just that you never know what's going to happen. And being that this is an RPG and the way you play the game determines how it ends and what happens. Uh, Story-wise, it's always good to save. I don't want to get the bad ending or anything. Oh, it's feet hurt. Meet one of the curious guys here. So we Well, uh, yeah, it's probably, it's probably the same script as the other one. What's in here? Okay, now this is another thing I want to tell you guys about. If you see anything with the letters NY, it means not yours. So, you know, you can have the option to steal it or you could just leave it there. I'm going to just leave it there because I'm not a fucking thief and I despise thieves. That is also not mine, so I'm not going to touch it. What's in here? 
Yeah, not mine. I'm going. I'm going to, you know, make sure that I don't steal anything because I want to get a good ending. Oh, it's a trap. I have a better mechanic skill. And oh my gosh, I need to select both my creatures again. Ah! 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 Search all of these buildings as much as I can. Oh, this probably must be a shop. Hmm. Ham. <laughs> His name is Ham. This Sir Isle's robe has been heavily stained and in places dissolved. He is surrounded by the tools he uses to make useful potions and powders. Even for this village, this is odd. These sort of magical workings are reserved for shapers alone. The servile bows to you. He doesn't seem ashamed or worried. He says, welcome, shaper. Welcome at last. I am Ham. Welcome to my home. Hmm. You know how to make potions. Well, I am glad you asked. When you shapers left, you left behind many things. This was long ago. We have had many years to study your writings and artifacts. We had no choice. It was a matter of survival after all. Oh, well, you should not have done so. I, I mean, I know technically, like, serviles aren't supposed to learn, you know, the ways of the shapers. But, you know what? You know, sometimes I, I want to bend the rules, you know. It's, it's good to, you know, disobey authority. You should be proud... You have achieved so much. I'm gonna do that one. Ham beams with pride. I am so grateful that you think so. Though I am awakened, I still have a, a great deal of respect and, admir and admiration for your kind. Thank you for that respect. Where do you find out other ones? Why, they were all over. He pointed to the box in the corner. I found that in some ruins recently, but I can't get the lock open. We awaken, we awaken believe in fair trades. If you can find a way to get that box open, I would gladly pay you for your time. I am sure you could use the more supplies. Let's see, I have other questions. Uh, let's see. You seem short on supplies, Shaper. Can I interest you in anything? I could use some supplies. Let's see, I got the healing pod. I, I have... So far, I have 158 pieces of gold. Living tools, we got curing spores. <laughs> Healing spores, curing spores. Uh, let's see. The sh no, the shop has 185. I have 85 gold coins. I'm just going to shave. Uh, shave. <laughs> what am I thinking? Save. Okay, that's I don't know my great bit from that. One living tool to open it. Yeah, that's not mine. Um, I'll just purchase it. Um, number two. I'll purchase a living tool for 36. Let's, let's hope this is worth it, like. I'm just gonna save. If not, I'll just use the living tool for something else. I appreciate you taking a moment to use your powers to help someone as low as me. In return, I offer you fair payment. As an equal for your efforts, he hands you a pair of flasks. Hmm. Alright. He, he gave me a speed pod and I think another healing pod. That was nice of him. So I guess it really was worth it. Definitely have to save her. I love the sound effects too. Let's see what's up here in the middle. There's another building right over there. 
I know some of these buildings have stuff that, you know, is just fair game and then other stuff that isn't yours, so if it's not mine, like I said, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not a fucking thief. Ah, another shake on uh, meat server. Dreet. You had not th you had not thought that the shapers had made servars with the with the capability to be this overweight. Maybe this breed of servile is different. Either way, this serves really this servile really fills out her room. When she bows to you, you notice she wears gold rings on her fingers and a necklace around her neck. Clearly some serviles are wealthier than others. Welcome, Shaper, she says. I am Dreet of Vakiri, recently of Pentil. Hmm. Are you wealthy? What is wealth? None of us serviles are truly wealthy. All we have is what we can scavenge and what we grow. But in the sense that I have more goods to trade for things I want, I suppose I am wealthy. What sort of things do you own? She points at the door to the east wall. There is an artifact back there that we serviles can't use. It would kill us, but I suspect that it would be useful to you. For 300 pieces of gold, I would unlock the door for you. Um... I'm a shaper. You want to bother with me? I demand that you... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be a total dickhead. I'll just say I'm not interested. Fair enough. It isn't going anywhere. Well, even until... Up until recently, then I came here. I wished to join the Awakened. I was tired of the serviles of until and their own bare gibberish. We were made to serve, but we will do so no longer. Tell me about the Awakens. They believe that you shapers are their true masters and that, to be happy, they must follow and obey you in all things. I came here to claim, f to claim fel feltly to the, feltly to the awakened. We believe that we must rise and face you shapers as equals. We know that there is risk in this path, but we also know that it is what we must do. Let's see, number one. Yes, if you wish to learn more of the Awakened, find Sentia. She can teach you. Let's see, I'm gonna ask this question. It was a difficult decision. It is our name. We do not know whether we should keep it. Finally, we did. It reminds us of who we are and where we came from. But we on this isle, we will not be servants again. So, I, 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 lo I love the way the, the dialogue in this game. Uh, let's see, um, that's all for now, thanks. Not mine. Not mine. Yeah, that's that room where it's at, so... I'll probably come back. To that room. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I don't know why I'm morning so much. I'm not even fucking tired. I don't think I'm tired. But then again, who's early in the morning? See, I need three living tools to open up that one. And I need three living tools to open up that one. So I'm just going to take my creation and head to this other room. Ah, this must be another shot. Let's see. None of that stuff is mine, so I'm not even going to bother touching it. Crawl. You are accustomed to seeing expressions of greed and cunning in the eyes of humans. To see such entrepreneurial zeal in the eyes of a servile is highly unnerving. It is not what you expected at all. This servile walks up to you eagerly. Creator or no creator, this servile wants to make a trade. Welcome, Shaper. I am I am Cole. Oh, I said Crawley. What the hell is what? I can't even fucking read. I am Cole. Welcome to my trading post. I exchange goods with sentient beings all over Susha Isle. I would like to trade with you. I need some supplies. Yeah, that, that would be good. Well, maybe I should ask the question. I've never tr met a servile shop before. 
Well, in the absence of the Shapers, we have had to fend for ourselves. And that means growing and making what we need to survive. And that means trade. I deal in both servile made goods and Shaper artifacts. I know nothing about why the Shapers left us, but thankfully, they left much behind. I would like to trade. We need some supplies. Matter of fact, let me ask more questions. Do you trade with other sediments on Tsushima? Well, I had contacts in Pentel and even Kaz, but there have been many rogue creations wandering about, so I've lost contact with them. If you ever meet servals named Pixley and Arth, or find out what happened to them, please let me know. I have plenty of supplies, and I gladly pay for useful information. See, I have 49 coins. Uh, let's see. I have armor. I, mean, I, 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 I could totally use some ar armor. I love armor, so. I knew I should have picked up the thorns. Because they would have been useful for something. I don't know what thorns do, though. Cole's goods, while inferior to anything yet come had back home, could still be very useful in navigating the wilderness of Sushi Island. His goods are a mix of scavenged, scavenged shaper debris and servile made weaponry. I'm gonna just buy some armor. Yeah, I I'm gonna just buy some armor. I only have 37 coins left. That's all for now. Thank you. I can't open that. I need a living thing in order to open it. Oops, this is sometimes hard to do. Select all my creations. Shame I couldn't buy the chain mail, but I don't want to steal it. Let's go to the meeting area. Ah, this must be the person I was looking for. There's a small servile girl here, standing in the middle of what looks like a meeting place for the serviles. She has a stick in her hand. She is watching a few fat orcs. She looks up at you curiously as you approach. She doesn't seem to have any idea who or what you are. She says, hello, stranger. I'm Leet. Let see. Are you watching these orcs? Yes, Ah, so that they don't play too close to where the monsters are, and they make me watch the orcs so I don't get bored. Are the orcs dangerous? She whacks one with her sticks and makes an annoyed moo mooing noise and shuffles away. Not to me. I have other questions. Do you know who I am? And she frowns. Hmm, I don't know, but I haven't had much learning yet. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Yeah. Number one assumption. I'm a shape of my people who made you this is very confusing to her. She clearly doesn't understand what you mean, but she wants to be polite. Oh, that was very nice of you. Ah, well, I don't want to press her. For that. I want to be a dickhead. One of the things I like about the Gene Forge uh, types of games is that they don't, um, you know, they have a lot of, you know, good character inter interactions. Alright, more, more guards, probably same old dialogue. Hmm. I pretty much explored the whole town, so. Oh, wait, I didn't go up here, so. Another mm, servile. Strax. It is a very quiet and nervous servile lurking back in this house. She looks quite terrified of you. She says in a quavering voice, Hello, I am Stout. See number two. You, you, why are you so nervous? You, you, you are, sh you are Shaper. We are, we are all afraid. We are afraid of you. We are afraid of how you will control us. Uh, some show it less, but we are afraid. She looks close. She closes her mouth tightly. She didn't mean to say that much. Let's see. I'm gonna do number two. I don't want to control you. You don't have to worry about it. We are glad to hear it, but we 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 believe it when we see it. I have other questions. I raise orcs. Okay, well, I think I asked all the questions I could. 
mine. Not going to touch it. I didn't need any of that stuff. That's closed off. No wonder. Right. Maybe I should have it north. North seems like the best option. Every area of this room. Oh. Now, you meet a short, pale servile. He is clean and quiet, but he doesn't look like he has been out of his building for quite some time. He says, Welcome, Shaper. I am Nab. I've been waiting for you to come see me. What are you doing back here? I've been waiting for you to come back here and see me. I am giving much and risking much to speak with you and say what I have to say. I act without instructions from my sect because I believe it is worth the risk. I am of the Takers. I am a spy here from the village of Kaz. I have come to see what the Awakeners are doing. I tell you this because we wish your alliance. Now, I only wait to see what you will do. I will risk my life to remain here and see if you can help the Takers. Do not listen to the lies of the Awakened and the Obeyers. Do not throw in your lot with them until you have been to Kaz and seen the truth. Tell me about the Takers. The Awakened here are on this... The, the Awakened here are on the right path, but we feel that there is no hope for true freedom and happiness for the servile race until we totally shed the influence of your kind. We will accept the support of your kind, though, one day. We must leave you behind. We hope you will help us. With you and our other allies, we may break free of the shape of fist. We will do anything to bring about to bring this about. What are your other allies? I am forbidden to say. I can't say anything about it. If I do, I will be punished harshly. Suffice it to say that there are powerful forces on this isle, and we are linked with them. Forces that may make even the shapers tremble us. Join us, help us, and you may share in those, and you may share in those powers too. I have other questions. What sort of help do you want? East of here, you can find the leader of the Awakened. His name is Elra. He is powerful and smart, and with his leadership, the Awakened may control all of Susha. He is also well protected. But you are a Shaper. You will kill him. You will have the true gratitude of the Takers. If you do, we will see to it that you draw from the true power we have uncovered. Whatever happens to me, this offer will still be open. What will happen when Elra is, Elra is slain? I would not return here. The wrath of the Serviles will be considerable. Instead, go to East Kask. There will be there. We will welcome you, and we will help you contact our allies, the ones with the incredible power. Questions. Allies for now. Next. <laughs> Once again, stuff that isn't mine. Um, yeah, the armor is a lot better than this tunic. I leave the tunic on the ground. <sighs> I think I've played quite long enough. Time for me to save. And call it a night for now. We'll say, you know, this is, the story is moving along pretty well. You know, you've got different factions. You know, you've got the Awakened, you've got the Tapers, I mean, the Takers up the obeyers so i have many different options to choose from you know at the same time you know i don't want to make the serviles my slaves you know even though that's what they were created to do i would feel like an asshole you know treating you know an independent free thinking being as you know a, a servant or you know a slave or anything like that being that, you know i am a black man i'm pretty sure i know or i have a history of what that is so I'm not gonna do that in this game all right you guys uh, that's all for now I'll see you guys later on the flip side 
Stay safe, stay metal, hail Satan. And have a good one.